Good morning, Raymond Temple. Today is Friday, October 23rd, 2020. Dr. Salas here with this morning's announcements from her RT home headquarters. First, let's continue our study in developing a growth mindset with this video. Chapter 1. Mojo discovers a secret about his brain. A secret that will change the way he looks at the world forever. Our story begins with Mojo, a friendly monster who loved school, especially math. Until one day, when something terrible happened. The math problems got harder. Nothing made sense anymore. Mojo had a devastating thought. He just wasn't smart enough for school. It seemed the only reasonable thing to do was pack his things and leave forever. Just then, he heard his friend Katie laughing. Mojo, you can't just give up, she said. I have no choice, Katie, said Mojo. You're either born smart or you're not. And I realize today that I'm not. Mojo, that's not how it works, said Katie. Anyone can be smart. You just have to work at it. Psh, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard, said Mojo. It's not ridiculous, it's science, said Katie. Neuroscientists studied the brain for years and discovered an incredible secret. That your brain is like a muscle. When you try challenging things, like those hard math problems, you're giving your brain the exercise it needs to get stronger, which makes you smarter. Ooh, is that really true? said Mojo. Of course, said Katie. It's like how when you were a baby, you didn't know how to talk. But you kept trying, exercising your brain, until one day, you could. Mojo! Mojo couldn't believe what he was hearing. If your brain was really like a muscle, did that mean anyone could become smarter? Even him? He turned to ask Katie, but just then, she had to be off to her next class. But maybe you can answer Mojo's question. What do you think? Can Mojo become smarter? What about you? Hmm, now that's an interesting question indeed. Student Council, please remember that your pictures and your speeches are due today. Upload your speech uh, onto Flipgrid and your picture with our Google Classroom that we have set up just for Student Council. Once again, your picture and your speeches are due today and need to be uploaded onto Flipgrid via Google Classroom that we set up just for the elections. Any student who does not have both items uploaded by today at three will not be part of our ballot and our elections that are coming up October 27th. Next week is Red Ribbon Week. Please make sure that you take a look at what our activities are all next week. And I'll see you next week on Monday as we all wear red and begin Red Ribbon Week. It's very important to know that even though we might be getting comfortable being here in in-person instruction, and you might be comfortable at home as you start to visit stores and restaurants and parks, that we continue to keep our COVID-19 practices as the most important thing that we do each and every day. We know that we must wear a mask whenever possible. If you are here and you are um, choosing to not wear your mask during recess, that is still okay. But if you ever want to wear your mask outside, that's perfectly okay as well. If you are not wearing your mask during recess, you still must keep your six feet of social distance, especially if you're choosing to not wear a mask during recess. 
So important for us each and every day, wear our mask, wash our hands for 20 seconds, getting in between our fingers, underneath our nails, and scrubbing for at least 20 seconds, and keeping our social distance six feet apart. Make sure that you, when your arms are out, that you cannot touch another person. That isn't necessarily six feet. It's a little less, but you know, if you're touching a person with your arms out, you're definitely not six feet apart. Boys and girls, staff members, parents, everyone hearing these morning announcements. It is very important that we remember that is our number one most important learning goal each and every day, to continue to maintain COVID-19 safety guidelines. Wear a mask, wash our hands, and the most important of them all, we must keep our distance. Lunch today is pepperoni pizza, pepperoni pizza for our in-person instruction students for lunch. And please remember those of you still at distance learning, you are still qualify for a free lunch. You just need to go to Walter Knott to get your free lunch each and every day from 1130 until 1230. And anyone who is under 18 years old can receive free lunch at Walter Knott until December. Please make sure and remember that your lunch application pays for all these things. It's not just food. It provides us resources and money to buy textbooks, transportation, supplies, so much. We are trying to have 100% of our parents turn in a lunch application. If you haven't done so already, please do so today. Lunch Applications for All brings money and resources for all our students. Okay, it is time for our word of the day. Our word of the day today is, it's another phrase, peer pressure. Peer pressure is our phrase of the day. It is a verb and it means when a person or a group of people try to persuade someone into doing something. Some synonyms of peer pressure is to push or intimidate or to influence. What peer pressure isn't is when you have confidence in making your own decisions. My sentence for peer pressure, all of us will experience peer pressure in our lives. All of us will experience peer pressure in our lives. It's what we do and how we handle peer pressure that is the most important thing. The phrase or word of the day, peer pressure. All right, boys and girls, another week of learning has been checked. Have a wonderful weekend. Turn off the screen, enjoy the outdoors, and remember that whatever you do, keep your mask on, wash your hands, and keep your distance to remain COVID-19 safe and to remain healthy. Bye-bye. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.